Hello, love. Welcome home to Eden. This is Eve Kristoff, your love life muse. Stick with me for the hottest news and subscribe to this channel to get somewhere new. So you know how it is. People do this all the time. They marry the wrong person. Actually, without even exploring much, they end up pregnant and everything, they, some kind of little romance they had turns into a whole lifetime of 10, 15, 20 years, you know, with somebody that they don't necessarily have much in common with. So when you get out of that experience, you finally get free and you, you realize, oh my God, there's a world of people who ah, have the same interests as me, who, who, who like sex as much as me, or who, who love to eat wonderful food, or, or talk about incredible topics, and go on adventures, and, and that whole feeling of being with somebody where you just feel abandoned, you just don't feel met, you know, and you think, well, that's love, you slog it out, and you just stick with it. There's this need after that, um, that whole, uh, and the divorce happens, <laughs> to explore, right? But then what what you worry about is, I don't want to be a, an asshole. I don't want to be somebody out there hurting people. But how do I avoid getting into the same situation again with somebody I don't really know, um, devoted when I shouldn't be, um, without being an asshole, like uh, somebody who's a user, right? Um, who, uh, by, by, oh, you think the only way to do this is I'm going to date lots of people in order to interview, in order to not make the mistake of being with somebody I don't have enough in common with. So I'm going to search, search, search until they find the person who I have enough in common with. Okay, so this is valid. This is very valid. Uh, this is a good idea. <laughs> interview, interview, and, and, and date, and date, and date. Now, you don't have to sleep with everybody you date, though. <laughs> but on the other hand, the person who's gotten into a marriage early that's not really the best for them often doesn't have much sexual experience at all. And they really want to compare, and they want to try different uh, relationships out. Oh, I know, I know. And they don't want to, once again, be hurting people. So... You know, what I would recommend is that you get control of the situation with total honesty. Okay, let people know what your boundaries are, what your, you know, what your sexual, uh, if you, you know, get, get tested sexually if you're going to be with various people. Um, get them to be tested and, and let them know you're exploring and, and you're just, you're in a journey and, and at a certain point you're going to land to be more deeply, when you know you're deeply simpatico with somebody and and there's like life mission involved and there's just that feeling of fun like oh we really have a lot in common you know okay but another thing to understand is like humans when when we have go through something rough we often want to control the situation by mastering it by doing the same thing that was done to us and this is an unfortunate thing this is why people who were molested as children become perpetrators because in in enacting that same awful um, behavior they feel that they have mastered it they've, they're in control of, of what you know uh, hurt them so badly so would be really good if you face um, the tendencies to um, want to just be in a pow more powerful situation in a more powerful seat without hurting others is honesty right up front. So say you say to people, um, listen, I, I do want to sleep with you. I do want to get to know you, but I, I'm not going to be able to be there for you in a relationship maybe just yet or ever, I don't know, um, because next week I'm going to be exploring with with this uh, someone else that I'll probably meet because I'm in that journey space. Now, the honesty itself changes the, the whole thing of feeling like um, you can't really say he abused me or he abandoned me or, or, or he used me if you've been honest right up and the woman or man says, okay, let's, let's keep going. Let's stay connected and let's explore together. Okay. So uh, that, that's the thing. That's the thing because 
instead of being a perpetrator, what, like, um, here's an example for me. When I was young, I was raised by lesbian women all around me in Berkeley. That was all of our friends were these les strong feminists, you know. And I was heterosexual, and it was always annoying to all of them how femi I was. I want to lace this. I want a princess dress. I want to, I'm drawing gorgeous princesses going pee all the time. I thought that was funny. Oh, you know. So, um, but after a while, what happened as I got older is I realized I could only get approval amongst those women is if I wore overalls and cut my hair short, they would treat me like a, a, a serious person that they um, valued more. So I, I did that. And then uh, as I when I entered my 20s and I was on my own, it's like, oh, my gosh, if I become an exotic dancer, I'm going to break every taboo of the lesbian community and I'm going to break free of this whole thing. <laughs> And so I did. I became an exotic dancer and I loved it. I loved the outfits. I loved but the main thing is that I had also experienced sexual abuse as a child, um, from from somebody who you know, shouldn't have done that. And and so by being on stage, I could master the the feeling of ha having been invaded too too young. Uh, I could master that by controlling the men's sexuality and their attraction, what I gave and I didn't give. It was very empowering for me. And at the same time, I could break the... Um, the taboo of, of not, of it, you know, my heterosexual, um, <laughs> uh, what do you call that, um, prejudice that, that had been handed to me from women who were kind of angry at men, you know, so whatever you're doing now that you're free and you, you've, you've gotten out of that marriage that was not really your, your soulmate or, or your simpatico person, now that you're free, be aware of the tendency, the desire to want to to take have a different perspective that you're in control of okay but do it consciously do it don't become a perpetrator a heartbreaker all right and so what I did with the exotic dancing is I I did not do the drugs that were handed me on the stage I didn't drink any of the wine that was I was expected to drink with clients. I didn't do any of the prostitution or lap dancing, all the things that would have destroyed my sense of self-worth. I only did the burlesque dancing <laughs> and whatever peep shows I felt like doing <laughs> um, for fun, with the part that was fun for me. And I watched the other women dancing. They were so gorgeous. They were so beautiful. And that's just the, the paradox because the lesbians are so mad at me for being an exotic dancer. But I was like in love with the women. I was like watching these other women dancing and I learned so much about feminine sexuality by watching exotic dancers. So there's another thing you can do. You want to learn about women's energy, uh, you know, different kinds of lovers for you, go to a strip club and, and just watch women dance. And, and be sure to tip. If you're watching, you've got to tip them a lot. Like bring fives and tens, 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 bring up a whole bunch of tens, cash a hundred bucks, <laughs> a couple hundred bucks, and, and then make sure you're tipping when you're watching and then they'll dance even more for you. And this will give you a, a whole idea of like oh that kind of sexual sensual energy is what I'm attracted to I've never seen before that's how I felt watching the women dancing was just like oh wow I want to be like that or or, or, or I want to be around that or or I didn't know that existed you know so much love to you and your adventure okay you could go to the Chippendale thing the guide dancers I'm sure it's similar <laughs> okay it's all possible your new pattern is totally, totally, totally possible. <laughs> You're just um, in control now of the whole situation from the other side. Okay. Much love, darling. Love life.